Hi, my name is Vitatus, and today I will show you how to fix the 504 gateway timeout error. Let's go! 504 gateway timeout is a server-side error website owners and visitors commonly encounter. This issue occurs when an HTTP request from a browser takes the server too long to complete, resulting in an error message. The 504 error message will vary on different web browsers. For example, Google Chrome displays, this site can be reached. Website took too long to respond. Meanwhile, on Mozilla Firefox, the error message will say 504 gateway timeout. The server didn't respond in time. There are several factors that can trigger this error status code. In order to properly troubleshoot it, you'll need to identify the causes of the 504 gateway timeout in the first place. If the error appears on different devices and web browsers, your network equipment, like the modem or router, might be experiencing a temporary connection problem. Faulty firewall configuration is another factor that can cause this error. Sometimes the DDoS protection and mitigation systems might block requests from a specific content delivery network or internet service provider. If a web server runs low on resources, it can get overloaded. As a result, it causes a slow response time or even a timeout, making the server unable to complete requests. The 504 error might occur when a domain cannot resolve to the correct IP address. This issue can happen if a webmaster modifies the domain configuration, such as pointing it to a different IP address or name server. Whatever the cause may be, I will show you a few reliable methods to fix the 504 gateway timeout error. The first method is to refresh the web page you are visiting. It may sound simple, but it's the most common fix to resolve the 504 gateway timeout error. To do this, click the refresh button next to your web browser's address bar. You can also press F5 or Ctrl F5 to clear the browser cache and force refresh the page. If the issue persists, consider checking if the website is down using a website checker tool. This method can also help you determine whether the problem is related to your local network connection. For example, I'm using Website Planet here. Simply type the website address and click Check. Wait until the process is complete and you will see the website status including its IP address and response time. Even though the DNS cache can help speed up your site loading time, it can cause the 504 gateway timeout error if the cache stored in your web browser is outdated or corrupted so flushing the DNS cache might fix the issue. Each operating system has its own methods for flushing the DNS cache. I will show you how to do it on Windows and Mac OS. Let's start with Mac OS. Since the operating system has various versions, the commands for flushing DNS depend on the one you have installed. So, the first step is to check what Mac OS version you currently have. To do that, simply click on the Apple icon, then select About This Mac. Next, open the command terminal window by typing terminal into the spotlight search field. Alternatively, you can press the F4 key on your keyboard. Once the terminal window appears, insert the command specific to your macOS version and press enter. We have provided various commands in the video description, so check those out below. After entering the command, the system will prompt you to provide the admin password. Enter the password and press enter. Now, let's flush the DNS cache on Windows. Unlike macOS, the commands are the same regardless of the Windows version you currently use. First, open Windows Run by pressing the Windows key and R together. Then, type in CMD into the Open Search field and hit Enter to open Windows Command Prompt. Once inside Windows Command Prompt, type in ipconfig slash flush DNS and press Enter. Windows will automatically clear your DNS and reset the DNS resolver cache. You will see the confirmation message that says Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. This indicates that the process was successful. Sometimes, users might make certain changes to their browser settings, resulting in the 504 gateway timeout error. To check if the error is browser related, try using a different browser. For example, if you use Google Chrome on Windows, try accessing the website using Firefox or Opera. Similarly, if you use Safari on macOS, consider using Chrome or Brave to visit the website. I also recommend performing a fresh install of your current browser to see if it solves the error. The 504 gateway timeout error can occur if your website has reached its hosting plan limits. Each hosting plan has a certain amount of resources for ensuring optimal website performance, which might no longer be sufficient if your site receives unexpectedly high traffic. 
you can check the resource usage via your website's hosting control panel. For Hostinger's users, access each panel and navigate to the order section. Then, open the order usage menu to check whether any resources has reached their limit. If this is the case, consider increasing the maximum execution time limit. That's because server timeouts might happen if the PHP scripts fail to complete the process within the defined duration. This method will help prevent the PHP scripts from being flagged as errors during the process. To increase the maximum execution time value via H panel, go to PHP configuration under the advanced section. Then, click the PHP options tab and scroll down until you find the max execution time field. You will see that the default value is 30 seconds. Increase it to 60 and click the save button. If the error still appears, try increasing the value between 120 to 180 seconds. Note that this fix is only temporary. If you receive another 504 gateway timeout error due to resource usage limits, upgrading to a hosting plan with more resources will be the best option. In some cases, the 504 gateway timeout error can happen due to outdated or incompatible WordPress plugins. Some plugins related to caching might also trigger the error. You can temporarily disable them to check whether the issue is caused by a defective plugin. I will show you how to do it via HPanel's File Manager. First, open the HPanel dashboard and navigate to File Manager. On the File Manager screen, head to the public HTML directory, open that, and go to the WordPress content file. Now, change the plugins directory name to disable all of your WordPress plugins. For example, from plugins to plugins.disable. Then click the written name button. If your website works normally after disabling all the plugins, you need to locate the one that is causing the error. To do that, you must first restore the plugins directory name to its previous name. Then rename each plugins file to disable it one by one to pinpoint the source of the error. Corrupted code due to recent website updates or modifications can be another factor that causes the 504 gateway timeout error. If this is the case, checking the error log is the easiest way to locate the issue. Hostinger has a PHP error logging feature, but it is disabled by default in most cases. So, you need to activate it manually to access your website's error log. Here are the steps to do that. First, access your HPanel account, then go to the advanced section and click on PHP info. Here you can check whether the PHP error logging function is inactive. Press Ctrl and F on Windows or Command and F on Mac OS to open the search bar. Type in error log to locate the error log row. If the value is off, PHP error logging is disabled. To activate the feature, go back to the HPanel dashboard and open PHP configuration under the advanced section. Go to the PHP options tab and locate the log errors option. You'll need to enable this by ticking the box to activate PHP error logging. Then click save to confirm the changes. An error log file will automatically generate if your website encounters any PHP error. You can access the file through a file manager. Simply open the public HTML directory, then locate and open the error log file. Another possible cause of the 504 gateway timeout error is an issue with your content delivery network. One of the most widely used CDN services is Cloudflare, which also works for DDoS mitigation. If you encountered this 504 gateway timeout error message, it indicates that the issue originated from Cloudflare. So check Cloudflare's system status to see if any scheduled maintenance is in progress. Meanwhile, if you see this 504 message, it indicates that the issue may come from your web hosting. If the 504 gateway timeout error persists even after you performed all of the possible fixes, it's time to reach out to your host customer support team. Provide as much information as possible, such as when you encountered the error and the methods you tried using during the self-troubleshooting process. At Hostinger, our customer success team is ready to assist you 24-7 to solve any issues including the 504 gateway timeout error. You can reach out to us via email and live chat. The live chat feature is located in the bottom right corner of the HPanel page. It can be frustrating when a 504 gateway timeout error occurs, not to mention having to try multiple methods to try and fix it. Hopefully, this video tutorial has helped you determine the cause of the issue and solve it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to help you out. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to Hosting Your Academy for more handy tutorials like this one. I'll see you in the next video.